welcome everybody. This is your host, Leerbach, and you're just in time for more uh, Psychonauts 2. Almost forgot the name of the game there for a second. Uh, shame on me. In the last episode, we entered Cassie's, uh, Cassiopeia's mind. Cassiopeia being one of the original founding members of the Psychic Six. I guess we would call them the Psychic Seven. Um, we also learned our, our final ability, the archetype, so well, really or projection. And it gave me an idea. We need to get all of Cassie's archetypes together, round up all the runaway books, and give them to the librarian. But she'll lock you all up. Oh, don't worry. We won't be in them. We'll be with you. Hmm. Now, go find the others. Hurry. Oh. I'm almost certain there's some more exploring we had to do in that area. So much from this one, but we can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted. Can we? No, we can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. The battle with Melissa must have brought this librarian. To make Cassie feel safe, I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. Hey, can you help me find these books? I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up. <laughs> I don't know why I like this, the, the assistant so much. I think, she's got a cute, I think she's got a cute design, maybe. That's why. That's usually what does it for me, you know, give me a, good, give me a cute character or... Give me a cute, endearing character, you know. <laughs> or give me a give me a cool character that also works too. Or just, no, just give me a character. <laughs> give me someone with real personality, someone that, someone that's endearing, you know. <laughs> I remember as a kid, I used to go for like you know awesome and cool characters, and now that I kind of find myself attracted more to like, oh, this character's kind of cute. I kind of like I like I like a more kind of cute. Character as characters. Well, not necessarily like cute character. Not necessarily like cute aspects. Like cute-looking characters. Or, obviously, personality plays a role in this. If the character is not like inter interesting enough, then you know, they're just, yeah, whatever. Um. Uh. So do I go for the library card over here? I guess so. I guess yeah. Yeah, that, that worked out. Go ahead and get these. Turtle wrap the snake raptor on a turtle raccoon with Phoenix. This thing's tough to get up here. So if you remember the last episode when we first entered Cassie's mind, whew, we couldn't get up here. Uh, well, we could get up here, but we couldn't control. Uh, we couldn't control this mechanism. From up here, we need to control from up here. Uh, now that we have the archetype, we can actually use the archetype to pull the lever. And it will lift this up to the top. Very slowly, but like, you know, not so slowly that, literally, that we couldn't get up here. And I just focused on trying to get all the figments. So I forgot to get off. <laughs> um, that's okay. I'm just gonna tell my figment, my my the, my projection to go back up there. Um, oddly enough, because he turns into an air into an, a paper airplane figment, you'd think that would get a little confusing, uh, but it's not. Strange enough, I've never confused him for a fi for a as a, for a figment when to cr try and grab him. You come up here and we see, uh, we'll see Ford. Wow, Ford. You look a young so Ford. Ah, uh, yes. I was brilliant back in the day. But now I'm a little, um, all over the place. But I'm sure if Cassie keeps tending her beehives, I'll come back to my old self someday. Oh, interesting. Uh, we see, uh, Compton. Again, oh, oh, hold up, hold up. 
Yeah, these are, these have backs to them. They don't. They aren't like. They aren't like. Uh, they aren't like grinding. They're actually like they've got backing. To these particular characters, I guess, because these are because this is the Psychic Six that we see up here, or rather Psychic Seven, including Lucy up there, Lucretia. Um, oh, I noticed uh, Bob Donato over here is colored a little bit, colored in a little more. Actually, I'm not sure if we actually met Bob Did yet. Hello, little boy. Can you help me get into the literature wing? I wish I could, but the way through is blocked. In a most confusing manner. I, I do get so overwhelmed without Cassie here to help me. She's so good at multitasking, you know. She's my best friend. Oh. Why isn't she helping you? I don't know. Where is she? Hello. Hi, Otto. Any idea where the missing books are? Nope, no idea. Isn't that ridiculous? I think I'm so smart even though I can't figure out some of the simplest things. <laughs> hmm. She clearly didn't think highly of Otto. Hi, Helmut. And a grand huzzah to you, fine lad. Isn't it a lovely day today? A feast for the senses? Uh, yeah. Except, well, Cassie's acting a little strange, don't you think? Strange acting, you say? Well, not everyone is as well trained in acting as I am. So best not to <laughs> Ah, uh, never mind. It's always tempting to look for a dark spot when the sun is shining, young lad. But why not enjoy the sunshine instead? <laughs> Excuse me, Bob Zanotto? Oh, uh, what? Excuse me? Oh, uh, hello. What are you doing up here? Not sure. Probably something to do with plants, I'll bet. I was always really into that kind of stuff. <laughs> These are different... Like these are these are how she sees the psyche seven. And here's Lucretia. Lucretia? Lucretia Mux? Please call me Lucy. Hi. I don't want to make things awkward, but you kinda of murdered my grandma. Well, I don't know who your grandma is, kid, but uh, I don't doubt it. I murdered a lot of people. Oh, that's a... Why did you murder all those people? I don't really know. I was the nicest person during my time at Green Needle Gulch. Oh. What were you doing at Green Needle Gulch? Otto Mentalis recruited me to use my powers for... Hydraulic titanium mining. Which Kissy told us was very bad for the environment, but nobody listened to her as usual. Mm. Don't you also go by another name? Oh, what? Colloquio, Max Maligula, Grolovia Stain, Wet Wanda. Wet Wanda? The first one was a stage name for an art that was banned in three countries. Oh. Oh. Uh, hmm. Well, that, hmm. Maybe I don't want to know what that one is. Did you used <laughs> to be friends with Cassie? Cassie tried to be friends with me, but I was too busy making Google eyes at Fort Crawler. Oh. I ruined everything, you know. So before you became Maligula, you were a nice, normal person? People are complicated, kid. Uh, you're too young to get it. I'm gonna go. Try not to kill anybody. <laughs> okay, I'll try. <laughs> no promises. Huh. That's a that's an interesting scene we got there. Uh, first off, real quick. Oops, wrong. Keep hitting the wrong button. You only have one tag, that's weird. I'm almost certainly missed one in that in the room we started the episode in. I need the steamer trunk tag for this. Um so yeah. Either way, hold up before we go. Uh, oh no we got it. Good, pop out. Pop out. There we go. I only grab those, jump off, 
and grab Nugget of Wisdom. We are still missing what we need for the two bags, two pieces of baggage here. Oh, we might get them, we might be able to find them in the liter literature, literature lane. Let's uh, go ahead and go in there though. Shakespeare? Forsooth, etc. Oh, wow. You really talk that way. No, I just like to give the fans what they want. Bizarre. Hmm. Uh. Oh, there's another one that's been colored in. Do you know any spells that help find books? Of course. Will you use your spells to help find some runaway books? No. Sorry. I am no friend of the dark. That emanates from the librarian's desk. Ooh. That's interesting. Anything else you gotta say? Please help me. I promise. I'm tricking the librarian, not helping her. Many ally themselves with evil when it is convenient, thinking they can swerve back to the righteous path before it's too late. That's not what I'm doing. Is it? I mean. The mess up thing is that's kind of that's kind of true. A lot of people try to do the right thing, and so sometimes you have to align yourself with the bad the bad guys. And well, because like ninety percent of ba of evil doings is basically more of convenience. Um, or it's convenience on your part. It's hard to go. It's hard to do. It's hard to do the right thing because the hard the right thing is. Is really takes a lot more effort. The grail. Currently is the dishwasher. It's the dishwasher? Top shelf boy. Gentle cycle, don't worry. Ooh. Hi, I'm Raz. And I am the Fisher King. Last guardian of the holy grail. Fisher King. Really? Then currently okay. is the dishwasher. The dishwasher? Top shelf boy. Oh okay, so yeah. Don't worry. Um So he didn't have anything else to do. Okay. Uh, I got some. So interesting enough, the those you know, the pigments here in this section are a little more. We see more adult people, less uh, less classic literature characters, and uh, maybe not classic, maybe less uh, typical, more classical. If that makes sense. Um, the figments have older people, older looking characters, they don't look like kids. Strangely enough, we seem we seem to be seeing more colorful uh, picture people here as opposed to the black and white. Please. Pirates don't really talk that way. Oh, sorry, I they talk like this. Arr. <laughs> Arr. No, like this. Arr. Oh, it's no, insane. Like this. It would have been funny if they had like three or four different lines of Raz saying R and he's just getting slowly better. Hey, it's not raining. Oh, this is just a fashion thing. It distracts people from my nose. I actually did a, did a pretty good job because I didn't even notice the nose. Very scary. Oh, you think so? Why, thank you. That really makes my day. <laughs> Very scary. Oh, yeah, that really makes my day. Hey, it's not. Oh, this is just a passion. It distracts people from my Ooh. nose. Excuse me. Okay, next up we have over here. Okay, oh, I <laughs> got off that just in time. And that brings us back over here, though. So. Wait. Oh, okay. So you're supposed to climb up on that table, given the um, the fallen cabinet popping out. Climb the doilies and then. But I went a different way. I went from the center. One of the things I love about this game is there's like multiple paths you can go. Oh, does that pop out? Okay, so let's do it. Whew. 
Yeah. Dang it. Uh, I guess we'll be going this way anyway. Wait, we just... Did we go that? Huh. No, because I went up... I went up to that... Yeah, to that... Yeah, I went that passage. I went, so I went up to the... I went up to this way. Yeah, I went this way. Which bypasses that whole section. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think we got everything here except for this and okay, we're gonna turn around and jump. And we're gonna go into the next chapter or next book here to go to the next area. Well, this one looks easy. Uh oh. I think I just jinxed it. Oh, this, uh. This doesn't look good. Oh, the words are jumbled up. Can't really. I don't think it's saying anything as much as it's just. It looks like, well, I'm not gonna lie, this looks like what I look, this looks like how my brain feels after a day at work. All jumbled up and, actually, my brain looks more like it's just. She works in here, but be careful. This is the shop of Fanny Flats, the famous counterfeiter. Cassie works for a counterfeiter? I work for myself. But I do what I need to survive. Mm. After our parents dumped us here, we needed an archetype that was a little more thick skinned. Cassie, we've come to bust you out. Did someone say bust? What was that? Huh? Shh. Never say bust in here too loudly. <laughs> but it's true. We have a plan. Oh, hey, T. Listen, now's not a really good time. Flat has a big deal coming up, and she's really on edge. And I'm working on my ticket out of here. Ooh. Can we help? Listen, don't tell anyone. Oh, well, you see the money the sticking out of the back of her hair. Place. The boss's days are numbered. I cut an immunity deal for myself. I just need to get them some evidence they can use against the big gal. But she's watching everybody like a hawk these days. And I can't get away. We'll do it. I'll get the evidence you need and we'll... We'll briskly walk out of here together. Okay? <laughs> Deal. But remember, never double cross a double crosser. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good bit of advice. And this is probably the coolest part here. We get the book built town. Okay. I need three pieces of evidence. Better say um, Wait, who am I talking to? Yeah. I believe this will take us. Hey, what are you doing here? shouldn't be seen talking to each other. We try the fish cannery, the print shop, and the market. Get out of here. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, we got... This is the this is the best part of this world. Um, now a lot of people give this give this world, like, a lot of crap, saying it's, like, the least... the least interesting of the world. I like the, the books being... being the world is aesthetic. Um, and yeah, I can understand, like, most of the library being kind of just whatever. But once you get to this section, where you have, like, you have the ink in the ocean, you have the open pages, pages of the book acting like a garden area, you got the other, other books over here making up buildings and structures of, of this town. Um, you even have, like, uh, the, oh, what, that, uh, the little info wheels. Address wheels, um, which uh, I don't. I, don't I, I never went to. I never went to a whole lot of libraries as a kid. Or even as an adult, I still haven't gone to a whole lot of libraries. So I know most of that that stuff is done 
Uh, digital, it was done digitally today. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Really awesome. Um, this is like, I, I just always like this kind of, I just always enjoy this kind of aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, I think, um, I think instead of doing what we need to do, I'm going to do some collecting here, getting the, some, some of the figments nearby so we can kind of save ourselves some time in the next episode. Because we're already kind of starting to run a little, a little, uh, uh long at this point. I think I hear some emotional baggage. I got some emotional baggage. I believe we can get most of, if not all, the tags in this area. Oh, that's gonna be fun how to deal with. Hey, what's this here? Oh, it's a oh, this is a, this is a boat. This is a little pay. Oh, cool, it's a boat. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab this. We can just jump onto the little paper cages. Like everything in here is made of paper, so that's kind of what I'm trying to have like a fish here that it does think. I forgot that. Uh, we got some old timey looking like Roy's Roy Roy's Royce era cars. Um, not not exactly a Roy's Royce, I know, I know, but like, yeah, it kind of looks like it's similar. Um, yeah. I'm going to get that in the next episode. Like, yeah, we'll work on this side on the next episode. I just want to get back here because, honestly, there's no reason to come back here after we've already gotten all the figments. But those, uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese? Uh, I don't, I don't know what better way, Chinese cabs? Looking, looking thing with the figment. Um, let me pull out the figment here and just kind of show off what I'm talking about. The, uh, uh, that's not the one we got, but let's see if we can find the one we got. Um, good. Oh, the cats. Um, what was this? All the cats or the cats of the same shape? Gotta be different sizes, right? Different shapes. I don't think we've seen many, uh, many figments that even that even look the same. I think there's some one similar enough figments together, um, which is a bit of a shame because it means you don't get to see. Unique ones. Uh, oh no, no. There's a cat that I was pulling on, pulling on the thing earlier. I guess maybe they do have some similar. Yeah. It's hard to keep track of all these. Like, you know, this world, this world alone has 227 different figments to look at. So, you know, it's hard to tell. Like, is this unique? Is that unique? Um, there we go. This is the one I was looking at. The pig carrying the cat the, on the, along the cars. You know, get that kind of... I've only ever seen this as, like, a Chinese uh, thing, or at least in media. So, I mean, please, feel free to feel free to correct me and educate me. I would love to learn if that's something different. But, like, that's... I've always called them Chinese cabs. Because that's, like, that's the only name I know them for. No one's ever given an official name. Um, but anyway, I think we've spent enough time here. So the next episode, we'll continue exploring more of this area and getting the three pieces of evidence that we need to uh, incriminate Cassie's uh, counterfeit, counterfeit Cassie's uh, boss. Until then, I'll see you guys later.